Hello and uh, welcome to this next video on mobile repairing. We have been trying to understand some of the chip level components on the mobile phone PCB. In the earlier video, we tried understanding a few of the network related uh, chip components. Continuing that series, we will try and understand a few more network related chip components which are placed on a mobile phone PCB. So, the first component that we will see is called the crystal and we saw what a crystal was in one of the earlier uh, PCB related diagrams. But let us try and understand where this crystal is placed and what is the function of a crystal in a mobile phone. As you can see this small component that you see here which is a metal component is called the crystal and you will see this in many mobile phones and this is usually as part of the network section in the mobile phone. Crystals uh, uh, function is to essentially stabilize the frequency of the network in the mobile phone. The mobile phones normally receive uh, multiple frequencies uh, and it is important to stabilize these frequencies so that you can communicate easily with the other person on the mobile phone and that is where these crystals are used. They are also called as crystal oscillators which, fun which function essentially to stabilize the frequency of the mobile phone. Frequency is uh, nothing but uh, is something that is signified in a waveform and uh, is usually measured in hertz. So, these are measured in multiple units of hertz such as kilohertz or megahertz and you will be able to um, identify the crystal with the help of the metal cover on top of that particular component. If there is a problem in the crystal, you may need to replace the crystal. However, it may be difficult to procure these minor components in the market because these are very sophisticated components. They normally have a long life. Moving on, let us uh, talk about another important component in the network section. It is called the VCO. VCO stands for Voltage Control Oscillator. So, this is essentially a component which uh, generates different frequencies based on the voltage supplied to that particular component which is why it is called a voltage control oscillator. In a mobile phone PCB you will be able to see the VCO in this particular part underneath this covered portion is where the VCO is placed. So, the VCO is usually very uh, uh, secure inside a component like this. If you need to remove the VCO, you will need to remove this entire metal plate and that will give you access to the VCO which is placed inside this particular metal component. A typical VCO will look slightly bigger than a crystal that we saw in some of the PCBs a few seconds back. This is another form of VCO. The top cover of this has been removed and you will be able to see clearly what components are inside a VCO. So, a VCO is nothing but uh, basically a mix of uh, smaller components. So, the cover has been removed so that you can clearly see. So, once you remove the cover, you will be able to see the components inside and it basically is a combination of capacitors and uh, resistors. So, a group of components which complete, which have a complete circuit in itself and that works like a VCO. So, the VCO is also usually packed tightly on the PCB. The next component that we will introduce you to in this section is the IC, uh, is called IC. There is a specific IC for network which is normally called a network IC or RF IC. So, this aspect that you see here is the network IC or the network uh, integrated circuit. So, network integrated circuit or network IC uh, is very close to the crystal and this controls the way the mobile phone connects to the mobile network. If your network IC is not working properly, you will have issues such as no network or erratic network on your mobile phone. The last component that we will try and understand is called the RTC. RTC stands for real time clock. You will see a very uh, thin component there in both the PCBs. This is the first one. 
and a similar device or similar component can also be seen in the other PCB. So this is called a real-time clock. A real-time clock is usually placed close to the power IC and the real-time clock is what controls the time and date that appears on your mobile phone. This is another RTC in one of the other mobile PCBs. The location of RTC can be different depending on the circuit in the mobile phone. Um, it can be close to a power IC or it would probably be sometimes close to the charging points. So once you look into the circuit diagram of a mobile phone, you will be able to clearly understand where the RTC is placed. And the RTC is very distinct by its size and shape. And in this mobile PCB, it's placed next to the SIM socket. So in order to understand where each component is placed on a mobile PCB, please ensure that you read the circuit diagram very clearly and then work on repairing the mobile phone. So in this video, we tried understanding some more of the uh, network related components very specifically the crystal oscillator, the voltage control oscillator, the network IC as well as the real time clock. We do hope you would have learnt about each of those specific components that are placed on a mobile PCB and understanding this is very, very critical for you in ensuring that you are able to repair the chip level components on a mobile phone. Going forward, let, let's try and understand a, a lot more about some of the other specific problems that arise in a mobile phone or related accessories. Thank you very much.